And Wellington has been a, a changing uh, market itself you know, in terms of your market position there. There have been some exiting by other players. Well, yeah, Wellington's been interesting. Um, we've seen two of the major furniture players exit the business, Radford's, who had been, been around for donkey's years in Wellington, and Hazelwood's the same. Good businesses, but uh, perhaps their store footprint wasn't quite, quite right for today's market. But, but for whatever reasons, they exited, and it did leave an opportunity, particularly in the furniture market. So we already had an infrastructure with LV Martins. We own the five-store LV Martin appliance chain. That's enabled us to go into Wellington on a re you know, from a reasonably low cost base, but high efficiency base. And we see further opportunities there. We've got the two stores now, Upper Hutt and Porua, but we're not in, in Lower Hutt, which is the, the largest population area. We're not in the central Wellington area. And whilst we're in Palmerston North, you've still got that northern, northern Wellington area. So there's good opportunities for us there. Right. And the Bay of Plenty, you were in there. Yeah, Bay of Plenty was an interesting one. We, we, uh, we looked at the, an opportunity there through a company called Meekles. It was a well-run operation. It also had its own finance company, the same as we did. Uh, Four-store operation. And uh, that, at that stage, by owning LV Martins and owning Meekles, it actually gave us the luxury of the choice of where we expanded. So we did tack on uh, opening a store in Gisborne and in Bethlehem just outside Tauranga. That gave us a good turnover base. Uh, but we then saw that the growth was being able to get into the 400,000 or so people in that Wellington to Palmerston North region. If you think we've been trading for 80 years in the South Island for 940,000 people, you add 400,000 into your, your market and uh, you know, you've increased your opportunities reasonably, reasonably nicely. And you can continue to roll them out, right? Yes, we can. I mean, we've had, uh, in the last 10 years, we've, uh, we've grown our footprint. We've made a profit every year, we've paid a dividend every year, but we've still been able to increase our number of stores. And that's because technology has made the, the use of stock a lot more efficient. The, the transportation's improved hugely. So, yeah, we, we don't see any reason at the moment why we can't continue to roll the stores out. The biggest problem will always be finding the right site. You right. Never, never, ever compromise on location. And the big issue, of course, is margin. Yeah, margin is the, if you look at our business and say what is the biggest challenge, it is margin. We, have, we are heavily shopped in New Zealand, particularly in the technology side, the, the appliances side. We have a, a large number of stores, um, several of them now Australian owned. Actually surprises me, Warren, sometimes how you'd, you'd watch a, uh, an all black Wallabies rugby match in New Zealand and there's no one who will support anything except black but they'll go out the next morning and they'll go and send their well earned tax dollars across to, New, across to Australia um, but you've got to earn the right for the, for the customer I'd accept that too right. but um, yeah margins the issues it's heavily competitive um, and, uh, but you have, to, you have to cut the cloth to suit to be honest yes. Now you've got a very nice operation ticking away on finance, uh, which is contributing quite strongly. Yeah, finance is, been, is good for us. We, we, we consider it a loyalty program in that uh, we, it, it enables us to have a long-term relationship with the customer. And um, if, if something happens in finance, if, 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 you, if you do find that you have a problem or whatever, you're dealing with someone based in the South Island, you're talking face-to-face, -face, but we've really found that a, a major uh, a major opportunity for us. You know, we don't uh, we don't try and factor it off to GE or, or whatever. We believe that um, it gets us closer to our customers, and yes, it gives us a return. So we we've certainly been fortunate in the last couple of years to have had that because it has been a buffer for us uh, when the retail conditions have been so tough. And lastly, Rick, this month, uh, July, end or change of a long-standing relationship with Fisher and Pikel in terms of. Their exclusivity is yeah. on your floor. So where's that going to take us? A well, line-up of new brands on the floor? It will be a line-up of new brands on the floor. Uh, we will still be... Uh, it, the majority of our stock will still be fish from Pockle. It's a fantastic... They've they provided a fantastic products for many years. But over those years now, there are there are niche areas where other other um, suppliers are able to, to provide a better product. So... For example, F&P would still be fantastically strong in the area of laundry and refrigeration, but within refrigeration, say a double-door side-by-side refrigerator, Samsung have a fantastic product. So we're now moving into a new phase where we will be able to take advantage of that. We will give a full range of top products across the floor to, to, those, uh, to those other brands. Why now? Um, because those 
opportunities have only been in the last two or three years. The LGs and Samsungs, even Mitsubishi product that's available, have really been introduced into New Zealand in the last two to three years. So the time's right. The time's right for F&P, but it's also right for us as a retailer. Right. We see a big opportunity. And Rick, the, the company, uh, long-standing loyal base of shareholders, um, now spread you know, through the country? Uh... Still predominantly ca Canterbury. You know, well, most of our, our, our shareholders, probably 80%, have still got Christchurch or Christchurch, close to Christchurch right. addresses. Um, I classify John Holdsworth, our, our major shareholder, who lives in Wellington as a, as a Cantabrian because he's been with us for so long. Right. Um, but predominantly Christchurch and Canterbury. I think people like the fact they can go and touch the walls and, and see, see how we operate. Yes. Perhaps judge us as a retailer as well. Um, and at tough times, as you said, you've continued to pay dividends. Absolutely. In, in the last 10 years, we've, uh, we've never made a loss. We've always paid dividends. Even the last couple of years, we've, we've stayed in the black when a lot of our competitors have not stayed in the black. And uh, we're pretty proud of that. Rick, thanks very much.